What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I'm bringing you another World of Warcraft YouTube video. And today we're going to be explaining all the new features that Patch 8.0 is going to bring to us when it releases on July 17th for the US and July 18th for the EU. Now we are getting a few new things with the new uh, BFA pre-patch. Uh, we are getting a new storyline and, well, quest chain, uh, as many people know, uh, the burning of Teldrassil, as well as the battle for the Undercity. Now, at the end of each of those, we are uh, getting two gifts for each faction, or sorry, one gift for each, each faction. The Horde will get the war-torn reins of the Undercity Plague Bat, and the Alliance will get the smoldering reins of the Teldrassil Hippogriff. And I put those videos on the screen there for you. Also, uh, we are having some changes to artifact weapons as well. Uh, in patch 8.0, we actually officially retire our artifact weapons. So they will lose all their invested traits and their abilities. Um, uh, the relics applied to the artifact weapon will still raise the item level of it, but all the traits and abilities will be gone. Um, you will still be able to unlock all of the appearance, er, appearances for your artifact weapons, uh, with the exception of the Mage Tower challenges, which we kind of knew about uh, these for a while now. Um, which, of course, uh, you have to do the Mage Tower before July 17th if you want to still go ahead and get the appearance, er, appearances associated with that. Um, as well as the artifact weapon changes, we also have a couple ways uh, that gear has changed, uh, as well as the looting system as well. So the loot distribution will now be changed to personal loot only, which actually has been confirmed by one of the game directors. And also there will be an item level and stat squish that is happening uh, on 8.0, so July 17th, we'll, we'll, we will be getting our stat squish. In addition to all of the previous changes, we also have a number of system changes. Um, one of these is the individual buttons for droid travel forms. I am actually very excited about this because I am a droid and I've had my travel forms rebound so many times. And actually having different dedicated buttons for their travel forms will actually make me so much happier. Now that I don't have to have it on F1, F2, and F3, I'm going to be so happy. Um, another change is the majority of class cooldowns have been added to the global cooldown, which is um, before Battle for Azeroth, many of the abilities were called off global cooldown, which means you could fire like two or more of them at the same time in the same macro, which is kind of OP, so they changed that in Battle for Azeroth, which is definitely something that needed to look at. Um, in addition to that change, we also have all melee abilities now scale with attack power and weapon damage. Essentially what this means uh, is that the monk and the warrior are going to be able to duke it out on a more even playing field. So these stats kind of interchange with each other so they will more likely be able to defeat each other uh, in PvP scenarios. In addition to the melee ability change, we have bleed and poison ticks uh, now scale with haste. So bleeds and poisons from like a hunter, a rogue, or a warrior were only over a time effects before and now they are switched to um, being affected by haste, which is a new change in Battle for Azeroth. Um, this next change that I'm about to explain I'm actually very hyped for and it's actually the reason I am leveling a hunter right now. Um, is that Hunter Pets will have set specializations now, finally, and they will have their own type of utility, and there will be several, or several types of pet families which different, with different specs. So essentially what this means is it kind of reverts us kind of like back to vanilla days, where pets used to be good for different things. So back in vanilla, if you wanted the best tank pet, you went and got the turtle pet. If you wanted the best DPS pet, then you picked uh, the cheetah pet. And these, and each pet was better at a different set task. So you definitely are going to have the hunters that are going to go searching out in World of Warcraft to find the best pet for the best scenario. Uh, in the new dungeons and raids and stuff like that. So I am actually very excited for this because this is actually one of the things I remember most fondly about my time in World of Warcraft. Um, in addition to all that, we've got the stash squi or the stat squish, which we uh, talked about before, and also tank threat has been massively reduced. 
Uh, in Battle for Azeroth, tank threat is reduced uh, of all tank specializations by up to about 75%, which is quite big. That's quite a big uh, change, especially for something as, uh, you know, delicate as tank threat. So it'll definitely be interesting to see how this plays out. It'll definitely uh, show us what tanks know how to do their job and which ones don't. So it could be quite interesting. Um, as well as that, we also have uh, War Mode uh, PvP as well will become available, and that is really it for the new changes that are coming in Patch 8.0. Uh, the rest of the changes are mostly just model updates and changes on like the, wear, the way hairstyles look and stuff like that. And uh, I didn't really think that really makes sense to cover in this video. And uh, yeah, that's really all the content I have for you guys. If you did like this video, it really would mean a lot to me if you guys left a like maybe a comment, or even subscribe to the channel if you really liked it. Um, also, check out the links in the description below if you are interested in creating your own uh, YouTube channel by chance, because I have all my specs, my recording gear, all that stuff is in the link in the description below as well. And yeah, that's it. It's been King Kunta, guys, and I am out.